What does having a guide dog mean to you? My first guide, Columbus, him and I have a great bond. He's helped me raise my family. He's helped me, you know, uh, graduate college. My life has been enriched in so many ways with him in it. After I got Peril, I got confidence and independence and learned to trust again. And that confidence propelled me to the University of Minnesota and on to Stanford Law School. And I've been in private practice for 25 years now. I have connection to other people and it is directly because of guide dogs and because of my guide dog that that is possible. She has made me proud to let the world know that I'm visually impaired and proud to represent a group of people that sometimes isn't represented. When I have Figaro by my side or my other guide dogs, I feel like I can go anywhere and I'm pretty much fearless. <laughs> a few words that describe your guide dog partnership. Courage, lots of love. Trust, life-changing. Fearlessness, contentment. Celebrity. Peace of mind. Speed, excitement. Travel, adventure, success. Teamwork. Strong-willed. Synergy. Happiness. And fun. If they weren't guide dogs. If Wills was not a guide, he would definitely work in the food industry, probably as a chef tasting as much food as he cooked. I'm positive he'd be a lawyer, because whenever we go out on a walk, he needs a retainer before he'll start working. She would be a certified bed tester. A southern gentleman. And when she's working, she's a dancer. When she's not working, she's a clown. A recreation and leisure services program coordinator. I'm pretty sure that if Figaro was not a guide dog, he would be a psychotherapist. <laughs> he would be that average guy, data entry person next cube over, who you didn't realize actually posed for those steamy covers for the romance novels. <laughs> so